through the glass window of an abandoned storefront on the corner. Then he ran. Now, on Ephraim, he stomped his feet to warm himself. His sneakers thudded against the asphalt. The sound rang in the cold, empty air, so he stomped again, harder this time. He yelled, yo, 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 just to hear his own voice echo down Ephraim. The block was all shadows, as though the night was more night there than anywhere else. He bashed in the plywood nailed over the doorway of 248. This took the last of his strength. He ducked through the hole he'd made and entered the house. Toussaint settled in the warmest corner with a blanket, a sandwich he'd taken off a passed off drunk, and a sheaf of letters from his mother, who wrote him week after week from Holmesburg prison, even though he couldn't stand to go and see her. He had letters from his grandmother, too. Her name was Duchess. She lived in a place called Bonaparte, somewhere in Alabama. He was on his way there. He was really going to go this time. Toussaint fell into a jerky, shivering sleep and dreamed of throwing the brick through the glass window all over again. Filaments of glass caught in the streetlight glowed as they fell. The glass rain sparkled 